Holy freaking cow, folks. This is not good. Now, let me tell you why this isn't good, okay? We're going to get a little bit serious over here. Listen. Listen, folks. You looking at me? My eyes peeled. So, we got about an hour of daylight left today. The sun is ticking, man. It's coming down very slow. We got about an hour. Okay, we just got to the lake. I'm by myself. My dad might come out. I don't know. Just got to Atlanta. I've been traveling from Savannah to Atlanta. I had a lot going on, man. I got here a little late because of a bunch of traffic. I actually left at 9 this morning. I don't even know how I ended up showing up this late. We got an hour of daylight since it gets dark at 5.30, which I hate. If you guys hate it too, you better smash that like button. And also, if you guys are new to the channel, you better smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. But boys, let's go ahead and put in the water today. But first, as you go, oh, that's bright. As you guys can tell right here, we still got the cover on, man. We got a lot going on. I don't even have baits tied on my rods. Um, I got baits in the back of my truck that I'm going to be bringing. So when we get out on the water today, this is going to be a test. We got one hour to try to catch as many fish as possible. And we're gonna hop right into it. When we get on that water, we are gonna be going full auto, man. Oh, one more thing. I forgot to say, Big Bass Energy Baby is finally out. This means so much to me. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited to announce that Big Bass Energy sweatshirts and t-shirts are now available on the website. If you guys could check them out, it would mean so much to me. I'll drop the link down below. Join the movement, boys. You know, we going out here, we're gonna have that mindset, we're gonna have that positivity, and we're gonna try to catch those big bass. Today is the perfect example of having that big bass energy on since we only have an hour, and we're about to hop right into it and go catch some fish. Let's get started. First things first, we gotta get this thing off. Okay. I wish I had someone with me. This would be, oh my lord. What you doing, man? What you doing? Hey. Oh no, man. What you doing? Oh, you little sneaky boy. Wait, what? Let's get it, girl. Come on. Yep. All right. All right, come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Yep. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. 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 Uh, come on, wiggle girl. Yep. Come on, baby. Let's go fishing. All right. Oh, there's one more. Where you at? Where you at, you little sneaky guy? All right. Yeah. Well, my graph cap came off somehow underneath the cover. That's cool. If you guys are wondering why I have a random bucket, it's a long story. You get buried alive under here, boy. Gotta stay right there. Oh, baby. You're looking good today, man. Looking sharp. Let's get it. Oh, you fat girl. Oh, come on, big girl. Yep, one more time. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. The magical box for today, boys. Oh, mama mia. Look at that. Oh, look at that. It's like a five-star restaurant right there. Look at that. Uh-huh. These bass eating good today, boys. We treating them right. No. Now we gotta figure out how to get this thing in the water because I'm by myself and this truck's very tall and Noah's very short. For everybody who's wondering, I'm 4'3", so totally kidding. If you think I'm 4'3", you guys are crazy. I'm 5'8", man, I ain't that short, but I'm, I'm down there, man. It's kind of hard to get this because I used to have some some uh, rod, rod holders and stuff I could grip onto to hop on the back of my truck, but now I don't. It's kind of naked, so it's going to be interesting, boys, but we backing her in right now. I'm ready. Dude, this ain't even the hour challenge anymore. This is more like the 45 minute challenge. And before you know it, it's going to be the 30 minute challenge and the five minute challenge and the zero minute challenge. So we just need to get this bad boy in the water. All right, approximately like 35 minutes remaining. We're going to be throwing a square bill right here. And this is by six cents, okay? It's just a natural little color. If you guys want to get 10% off, pop it up on the screen. We're also going to be throwing a fish head right there. And then lastly, we're going to be throwing a hybrid jig, and this is by six cents as well. Okay, so we're going to get it started. I'm going to rig up these rods real quick, and then we're going to be running and gunning. Let's get it. Safety first, kids. Safety first. Let's get it, boys. See if we can go catch some biggins now. 
Oh no, don't do it, don't do it, no! No! I don't promote littering, that was not intentional. All right, I'm about to see the real Noah come out now. We about to go fast, baby. I'm by myself, I don't have to worry about anyone in the back of the boat, like having to slow down for anybody. So you guys are about to see it. We're gonna start off with a jig right here. Um, I have not been out here in so long and, oh my God, look at the fish on my graph. Look at, dude, I just pulled up, bro. Oh my God, where's my, I wish I had a spoon. Look at them all down there, holy cow. Yo, oh man, I'm already too far up on the spot, man. I'm so out of practice on Lanier, man. Uh, well, I guess there's fish here. Um, these fish are a little further off than I would like them to be, but what in the crap was that, dude? I just put down my trolling motor. First thing I scan is about six, seven fish on my graph, but uh, there's no way I got one. Oh, oh, there's no way. First cast, and they're all under me too. Yo, 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 come on. He's got it. First cast, first cast. Yo, first cast. They're all under me too. Big jig, man. Six cents hybrid jig. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it, baby. It's a good spot. Yeah, let's get it. Look how fat you are. Yeah, baby, come on. Come on, baby, look how fat you are. Look how fat you are, yeah, you're so cute. Yeah, you like that hybrid jig, baby. Oh yeah, come on, you little fat boy. First cast, boys, look how fat he is. That's about one and a half pounder. He felt a lot bigger, I had him in the side of the face. Yo, we only had the hour challenge, man. First spot, first cast. I'm glad I didn't pull off, you guys, look, they're all under me. Oh my God, this might be insane. Look how many fish are on my graph. I have not been to this spot in like two years. He ate me first cast. I know there's more down there. Oh my God, first spot, first cast. By the time I hit the bottom here, look at the fish on the graph. I'm seriously speechless. I gotta get off this spot, but at the same time I threw up there and caught one. So I'm like, I'm, I don't wanna get, oh my God, look at him. Yo, all right, all right, all right. We gotta play this good. We gonna drop a waypoint on him? This is what Big Bass Energy gets you, boys. Join the nation, link below. Come on, I need some people repping the sweatshirts. We're a team out here, boys. I know exactly what to do. I know exact, oh my God. All right. There's no freaking way, all right. We're gonna back off at of the fish head. We got the Divine Swim Baits by Six Cents on the back of a normal fish head. So this bait, how I normally work it, is I let it sink to the bottom and I slow reel it, okay? There's a bunch of fish down here. And uh, we're gonna let this bad boy sit, sink to the bottom and slow roll it. And I promise you, we might have one come up and eat it. The problem about these spots on Lake Lanier is that they, they like, usually if you catch one like that, it's hard to get another one. I know that sounds weird with spotted bass fishing, but from my experience, it's hard to like sit on a spot and keep catching them. And I hate to see that we just pull, I don't hate to see it. You know what? That was first cast, that was pretty crazy, but let's see if we can get another one. I need to check my drag. It's a little tight. If you don't eat this fish head, we'll, uh, we'll go through with the, um, with the jig again. Cause that was first cast, man. That, that was some, you know what? You want to get fancy with it? Come on, come on, watch this. All right, we just threw our jig out there. We're gonna let her hit the bottom and we're gonna fish this rod, okay? Oh my God, I got him, no. Dude, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is unbelievable. My line's running like crazy on that other rod. I just have one on this rod. All right, there's no way. How in the heck did I have one? I can't have that in my head the rest of the day that I pulled up on like a hundred fish down there. I, that is not, uh, uh we got to do the double again. This ain't cheating, right? You know, I'm by myself. All right, set you down, grab you, beam you out there. Come on, baby, catch me, catch, just catch a, a giant. I thought the first one was a good one. I haven't caught spotted bass. If you guys don't know, spotted bass fight way harder than a largemouth, but I did have him in the side of the face. That's why he felt so large. Yo, there's one under me. Watch this. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to hit him. 
Ah, uh, no, you're stupid. I should not be waiting. Oh, there's another one. Maybe it is worth it. He followed me down. Look at my graph. You see him following my line? I'm going to stop it and pop it. And polka dot it. Come on. Pop it, lock it, polka dot it, baby. See where he followed? That's my line. That's a fish, and he started to follow it. The one thing we can't do today is we can't get too excited. There's probably more on them rocks, but like I said, once you catch one of these spots, these fish are so smart. Sometimes it's going to be hard to catch another one. Look at them all down there. What are you guys doing? Look at them. There's like freaking 55. <laughs> There's 55. All right, we got, we're getting too distracted here. That's what I'm saying. We can't let this distract us. There's a fish on a brush pile. Look at that. See that? It's a brush pile right here, 20, 22, 23 foot. That's a big fish right there. All right. I know this fish head can catch them, and I could like put a hurting on them today. We just don't have much time, and I'm just trying to figure out what's the best way to put as many fish in the boat as I can. And I have this spoon, but it's a smaller spoon. I don't really want one this light, but that's literally all I got. So we, we're gonna run with this light one. This is a 3 8 ounce fish aren't too deep the slow fall of this one might actually like the lightweight be more beneficial than we actually think so we're gonna cut off this fish head tie this spoon on and we're gonna get to work I got to know I gave my best effort at this hole with knowing how many fish were here brings me back to the old tournament days man going at it oh my god they under me oh and I got my jig out All right, we'll drop that down yeah see that guy's so light yeah he's on it there's three on it, three on me, three on me. I'm on them, guys. Look at this, look at them down there. Oh, come on, don't tell me you ain't gonna eat it. Yeah, there's two or three just, just literally glued on my lure right now. Look at this, look at all of this fish. They've been following my spoon. These little lines, that's my spoon going up and down. These are the fish following it. They just did not wanna eat it. I don't know why. What's up, man? I went off my dock back in there before I came out here. Did you? That's awesome, man. Was he a big one? There you go. Best of luck, man. Be safe. It's not really the best time for me to slow down right now, but we actually have a fellow kayak angler right there. Some guy that was skiing literally went like 10 foot from that dude and then put his hands up at me because I was supposedly too close to him when he almost hit the guy in the kayak. Like, what are you doing, bro? People on this lake, I swear, I, listen, I grew up on this lake. It's a party lake. People come out here, they have a lot of fun. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. And, but there's just too many people that, oh, it drives me crazy. Like, how can you sit there and throw your hands at me when you literally came five foot from a kayak angler? I had to, I, had to, I just stopped. I didn't want to go wash that guy out. Like, if I was in that kayak, I wouldn't want boats going around me like that. I just put my boat down. It's a respect thing, man. What's up? I dropped these in the water. Can you come help me? Yeah, I got you, man. Of course. I don't know what just happened. But he said as he dropped these in the water. <laughs> Whatever these are. This is the same kayak guy that that guy blew past. He asked if I can come help him. I don't know what he dropped. We about to find out. What's up, man? What you need me to grab? These two right here. Oh, I got you, man. So of course. How's your day going, man? Good. How are you? Going good. It's nice outside. It's not too cold. Caught one on my first cast, <laughs> and that's it, yeah. I feel like I got a curse on me now. I can't catch one. Crazy how the low the lake is compared to what it used to be. I know. It's usually, like, overflowing. Yeah. I used to come back here in this creek. That's yours right there. Yeah, I used to come back here years ago, man, and I remember it was all the way up. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I really don't know what I would have done. <laughs> How'd you drop them in? I was throwing them. Are you throwing them? <laughs>
Yeah, you don't want to hop in this time of year. Here, I'll toss him to you, man. Thank you, All right, brother. Yeah, man. You have a good one. You too. I think I got it. All right, you have a good night. Well boys, sun is going down. It ain't looking too hot, but we haven't gave up yet. We're gonna go back to that spot where I caught that first fish. Um, young gentleman over there, he dropped some stuff in the water. I, he asked if I could help him, so I went back there and helped him out. Pretty sure that's that guy's dad that I saw in the kayak. It was his dad and that's his son. You guys ever see people in need like that on the water guys, whatever it is, anything in life, man. I like, I don't ever get to talk to you guys like this, but if you can ever do good deeds for other people, even the simplest things like that, that's something you need to do. Spend a little time out of your day. Like I said, man, I'm sitting here crunch time for this video, but you know, if somebody needs my help, I know I'll be there. So, you know, if anybody needs you guys' help, just always be there for the people, man. Make the world a better place. But anyways, let's go ahead and go out to this spot. Let's see if there's gonna be some more fish that are willing to bite. We only got, I mean, we barely got a little bit of daylight left. And uh, I don't really want to be putting this on the trailer in dark, but I probably will be. It depends. If we start catching them, I might be like, yo, we're going to have to stay till it's dark. But uh, let's go ahead and hit up that spot. All right, guys, this is our last chance. Oh, come on, fish. Do us a favor. Oh, I got him. I got him. Yep. Oh, I got him. Never give up, baby. Gosh. I can't tell how big he is. He feels pretty good, but I ain't gonna. Oh, he's coming up. Keep you down. Oh. Thank the Lord. Oh, now he's feeling a little better. Uh, he ain't bad. Whoa. He ain't bad at all. Oh. It was like almost a three pounder. No, I know, no. I had a weird feeling he was about to come off. I couldn't see him. I was so, it was so hard. I was trying to look at where the jig was at and I just couldn't see it. That was almost a three pounder. That was a solid two and a half to two and three quarters. Dang it guys. Hope you guys saw that on the camera. Same spot we pulled up to, same thing. Oh. Might be a big one. Yeah. Pretty decent one. On the crankbait. Oh yeah. You gonna boat flip on. Oh, there's another one with him. It's almost three pounder. There's another one with him on the crankbait. Look at that one, boys. It's almost three pound spot right there. Whew, look at how fat he is on that big crankbait. Sucker dies 20 foot. Been a tough day this morning. Catch a good big one on a crankbait. Look how fat he is. For you guys, a largemouth fish, or for you guys that hit a bunch of the banks, to be fair, this is a big spot. It's a pretty good one. Look at that. Whew. That is a fatty on the crankbait. I would like a four pounder, but I'll take a two and a half, two and three quarters all day. Oh, it's going to weigh negative, ain't you? It's going to weigh negative. Two pounds, 11 ounces. So two and three quarters, exactly what I just said. Look at that fat belly on him, almost a three pounder. Oh gosh, there he is. Oh, that rock the clay transition. It was coming up. Oh yeah, come on baby, two pounder. Get up in here, boy. Two and a half pounder, boy. Mmm, on the crankbait. He barely had it right there. He hammered it, man. He stopped it cold turkey. That's a two pounder, two and a half. Fat belly on him. These spots, guys, they look different than the largemouth. They're really stout and dense fish. So this in general, like a largemouth would be a two pounder. This is definitely a two pounder, two and a half pound spot.
shopping. I don't mind.